YouTube. I hope you're excited because it's time for another exclusive Girl Chat topic that's for your eyes only. Because girl, we're not done chatting yet. Oh. Oh. Ladies, <laughs> we all have those moments where we just aren't in the mood. Or maybe we realize that sex with this person just doesn't measure up the way you thought it would. Oh, Lord. So, I found an article on showpo.com that gives the best excuses to get out of sex. How about, dude, we just had Mexican for dinner. Oh, damn. <laughs> I would never say this, by Ever. the way. Or, oh, I'm so sorry, I cut my lady parts shaving and now it's sore. Wow. wow. Wouldn't say that either. You know, <laughs> I had to ask, have you ever had to tell a lie to avoid sex? I never avoid sex. <laughs> but if you needed to, what would be your excuse? I have a headache. I'm really tired. The doctor said wait six months after having twins. Six <laughs> weeks, not six months. I said six months. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can use a lot of excuses. It's how you do it. Yeah. Or if you say, let's just do a quickie uh, because of all those other reasons. But yeah. I think guys do it too. Yeah, guys. Like, babe, I really need time. to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Has he ever said that? Sure. Guys, I think in a marriage that is like expected yeah. at some point. Yeah. And but I have been offended by that. Like somebody really? could literally be so exhausted and I'm so grateful because I feel like is this the type that'll be like, okay, fine. Like I'll give in. I mean, he'll give in. But now, when you're in a long-term relationship, you almost are like, oh, the person's tired. Right, right, right. Now, if that becomes a habitual thing... Then that's a different thing. Red flag! Yeah. When I was younger, I would do crazy stuff, like, like throw up in the bed. Uh, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor